Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Let's Play Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy. My name is Tenzo Fifty Five Beta, and this is the last recording I'm doing for this session. Cold. That's the best way to destroy the mountain. <laughs> anyway, I've already been here, but I have very little idea where to go next, so we will explore this place to no end. I can't seem to go where I want to go, so I gotta go where I need to go. I need to go where I need to go. That way it was hard on me in recording. I delayed my speech in the next second. I did not actually have a small cone like that. Bye, frog men. Come on, not frogs. Rognarks! It's a good deck in the video. Yes, I've played. Rognarks! Yeah, Dragons is fun! Man, I'm all I'm all kinds of dying right now. Yes! I know I can find it. The secret way in here that no one ever remembers. The secret, but intended, way in here that no one ever remembers. That one part of Jack's hair is very highlighted. Look at that. That is blonde ass hair. You can barely see the green parts of it. It's a blonde it is right now. So shiny is that one spot. It annoys me how bright that one spot is. It looks like a lightning bolt. And look at it wiggle. Look at it wiggle. Because Jack has constant wind on him. I think that's the joke though. Kind of like when Rose Tyler just uses her hands for anything that makes the whoosh sound. Hey look, an ego bucket. Or deposit, rather. I will like the one you found in the uh, blue temple. Which means we accidentally unlock all the yellow eco vents. Woo! Accidents for the win. I didn't mean to do it, but it happened. Eight orbs. Eight orbs. Hey, guess what? Now I can go finish the uh, other place. But now I've, it's gone to the hopeless wandering part of the game section, of course. Section. Where I will wander hopelessly for a moment until I find what I am currently looking for. There has to be a way you can just get into there. 
I'm not waiting for the lift. It's an elevator. You're American. Say it right. You will. I am an American. I'm proud to be an American. Or at least I know I'm free. Which kind of makes me a slut, doesn't it? Because I'm free. I'm not even a proper hoe bag. That's, that's a weird insult, actually, now that I think about it. A hoe bag. A, a, a metaphysical bag of hoes. Scaflies! That's only six? I'm still missing two, another scout fly? I was going to say I was missing two scout flies that whole damn time, but I don't check my tables very often because I'm good at let's play. Take that, Jing Linker. Mm. Oh, oh! So this is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. If anyone gets that reference, you're amazing. If anyone doesn't get that reference, please play Sonic Adventure 2. It's find a single scout fly and some precursor orbs and we're done. <gasps> no. Yes. Wait, that- Oh, that means we gotta find that scout fly. And I have no earthly idea where you could be. Well, let's... Dear future Logan, activate hyperspeed to save yourself time. So that way you can extend this video and get the most out of it you can. Signed. P.S. We're a gun. Not, not, not when having sex, just at the worst op just at the worst possible time. You'll know why. In the future. Pins of video I've made endorses same sex. Please. Practice same sex responsibly. Very large responsibility. If you are ready for babies, then go ahead. But if you're not ready for babies, condomize. If the relationship you are in right now does not produce babies, then still condomize because titties are not so good. Anyway, now that I have given out life lessons. Oh my goodness, I'm back here? This is a vicious cycle. All drains lead to the ocean. Nice trick for this. Just try to aim for the boulder, but not, like, for for it. That helps you know when you're gonna hit it and when you might miss. It was like as if I was rolling into it. That'd be so awesome if Jack could break dance. Is that the sun? Is that the sun going down or up? Is it rising? I can't tell. Oh well. Anyway. Hey look! There's wintery stuffs down there. Or not wintery, uh, springy, summery stuffs. Is that Boggy Swamp in the distance? Hey Boggy Swamp.
a lost precursor city. That means that ravine right there. That's the lava tube. Okay, okay. I'm just on a humongous. Oh, really? We're just on a humongous island, then. I was at one of the highest points in the island. I'm, I'm having Maldita Castilla flashbacks for some reason. I don't know why. If you have not played Maldita Castilla, please play it. As a, it, is a, it is a good game. It's hard, though. It's like. Not as hard as Ghosts and Goblins, but it was inspired by the difficulty of Ghosts and Goblins. But, but, but please, just give, give it a crack, it is free. Just like Google search Maldita Castilla, and you'll find it. And always remember, for God and Castilla. Just what I needed! Scout fly. Power cell. Yes. I just realized. We have nine power cells left to get in the entire game. Nine. I'll just, I'll just let that sink in. We are almost finished our grand adventure. That's how close to being finished we are. We have nine power cells left. Right now, most of that's going to be walking. There's going to be some uh, minor flying, because I need to find out how to how to Jack and Daxter. Oh my god, that almost got me. Not to the matter, I have to call. What am I worried for? We never have to come back to Snowy Mountain again again. And I said again twice because I never had to come back there once before. Because I already beat the game 100%. Fun fact, this game, this let's play helped me finish the game. Like, there were some uh, precursor orbs that I didn't know the location of. And I couldn't find them until this let's play, actually. And when I did find them, I was shocked at where they were. They were behind the... Uh, Behind the towers, or not the towers, the, uh, the altar-like things in Sentinel Beach, and in that beastie's mouth that we killed in the Blue Eco Temple. I know it's probably not called the Blue Eco Temple, but that's where we activated the Blue Eco Temple. So the Blue Shut up. Anywho, let's see what we can do with our newly activated switch. Probably grab our shit. Oh, that was a fantastic turn. Like textbook, textbook turn. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And all of our speech is gone. However, now we can shoot the spike. Fat lot of good that did me. You know, it's gonna do like an awesome death loop, too. It's gonna be like, yeah, power cell, and then explode, and it was gonna be cool. It sounded cool. I'm cool, right? My mom says I'm cool. Oh, yeah, I'm always down myself. Oh, oh, 
I saw that Daxter landed right on Jack's dick. That was painful as all. You never realize how fragile these things are until, you know, you actually see their fragility. Anyone remember the precursor base in the, the level where you had to be on your bike the entire time? Yeah, I like that level. It's a fun level. I just died the same way twice. By trying to be fast, I'm going slower. I hate this. I hate going fast and slower. You know what? I'm gonna make this an extra long episode where I speed things up anyway. So I'm just gonna finish the spider caves while I'm at it. But this is still gonna be Snowing Mountain too. So I was I was not supposed to finish Snowy Mountain then. That was supposed to be like three episodes. No! Got a power cell. That means we can just go to the spider caves right now and finish off life.
the, the fireplace. I forget it. I'm not right now. Anyway, bearings. Right that way is the precursor golem. There's the entrance. It's right in there. Never looked at it. Not once. Because my camera was never faced towards it. Never. Anyway, in the next episode of Let's Play Jack and Daxter, we... No, we don't finish this. We get closer to finishing this. See you guys then.